Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be doing that side-by-side -side comparison with Tyranitar, Smackdown, Stone Edge, and Golem, Rock Throw, Stone Edge. Now, first up is going to be a Blissey Wood, Zen Headbud, and Dazzling Gleam. Unfortunately for the Tyranitar, that's super effective to it. But nonetheless, we will continue on with the test. We're going to be dodging them, taking one Dazzling Gleam to see who can, you know, put in the most damage dodging, right? After this, we're going to just straight attack to see who can do the most damage then. Uh, it's going to be more noticeable after this round because the Tyranitar was holding on to the Stone Edge for a minute just to ensure that it will not get hit by the Dazzling Gleam when I use it. So I just held off until it did the Dazzling Gleam, dodged, then used it. Um, then you have other variables as like the, the Golem is using its Rock Throw. And then the Blissey does its Dazzling Gleam and it charges up its Stone Edge a little bit quicker. And the Tyranitar's was already full and there was no extra boost in that charge move. Uh, but that said, though, you can see the difference, right? Um, we're almost down to the time here. And there you go. Tyranitar did fairly well. And the noticeable thing is the time. So just pay attention to the time. There's so much more um, with the Tyranitar as opposed to the Golem. So that is going to make a big difference when you're doing these duos or trios and you're going to need Tyranitar to beat these times. All right, so now we're going to go in here and do just, we're just going to straight attack, no dodging to see. Uh, now, the noticeable difference was within the time. Now it's going to be within the HP. Now I have to say Tyranitar did a fairly good job here because it is weak to that Dazzling Gleam, yet it's still putting in a lot of work and not immediately fainting. Yes, it is maxed out, but still, uh, I think it still did pretty good. Um, noticeable difference in the health for the Blissey, not really so much. You can see the Tyranitar bring it into the yellow first. It's a little bit ahead now that it did its Stone Edge and it's getting pretty close. So that, down goes the Golem and then there goes the Tyranitar. So there you have it. This is a pretty big scale here because, like I said earlier, when you're trying to do these uh, trios or duos, when it comes down to this legendary Pokemon or possibly some sort of new uh, tier 4 raid, that much is going to make a difference. And think about it. That's just one Tyranitar. If you had a whole team of these, that's that much more damage you're doing, that much faster as opposed to the Golem. So it is 100% worth it. Yes, but like I said, in Gen 4... You know, we're going to get that new rock attacker. We're just going to have to wait and see the potential of that as well. Its attack is going to be higher than Tyranitar's with even a better moveset, possibly. We'll just have to wait and see. So let's go ahead and compare here. So we have a level 40 Golem with 15 in attack. And then we have a Tyranitar level 32 with 3 in attack IVs. Now, what is the DPS for the Golem? 28 and that is it, 28 flat. Now for the Tyranitar, it's 28.8, all right? And that's with an A3 in attack. Now, too bad I didn't just bring up the Tyranitar to level 30 so we can do a clean comparison, but nonetheless, you can see it is clear as day and it's there in the numbers. Now we're going to compare the Tyranitar with 15 in attack to see exactly what's going on here. So uh, 28 for the Golem, right, DPS? and 32.2 DPS for the SmackDown Tyranitar 15 in attack. So quite a big difference there, as we can see in the battle and in the numbers. So there you have it. Uh, if you powered up a few and you're kind of contemplating or regretting it, you shouldn't feel bad or anything because this is a game-changing Pokemon right here with this new move. So you should be happy you have them. And that's that. Embrace it because you're going to need it in the future. Maybe not for any raids at the moment, but, you know, come Niantic's re-release of Moltres, I would assume. I don't think it's going to be Moltres, honestly, because we just got the research breakthrough and then we just had a ho oh So for use of this, I don't know what it's going to be. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and hop into their stats. Okay, so we're over here at Game Press. We're going to go over its weaknesses, resistances, offensive and defensive move sets so 100 percent iv max cp potential 3670 attack 251 rank 13 defense 
212 rank 29 stamina 200 rank 16 so it is a all-around fantastic pokemon okay so according to game press these are going to be the best offensive move sets i personally think uh number one should be smackdown and crunch but that's just me seeing the way it performs so according to the site we have number one offensive and then going down bite and crunch smackdown stone edge bite and stone edge smackdown and crunch bite fire blast iron tail and crunch iron tail stone edge smackdown fire blast iron tail fire blast with an x indicating horrible you know you don't even ever want that move set okay so that was offensive now we're going to go defensive what is the best defensive set that you can have on your tyranitar to drop in a gym not that i would recommend you drop tyranitars in there because you're just going to get punched and shatter like glass um, but if you must what would you want to have on it uh smackdown and crunch if you drop it in a gym that is what you're going to want period if you have stone edge they're going to take you out with a machamp before they, it can probably even get that stone edge off and fire blast it's just bad unless it was sunny weather i mean it, i guess it'd be okay but you have the same situation with stone edge you're going to get knocked out before it's even going to do it so your best bet is just going to be crunch because well it's going to be continuous and make the opponent use potions eventually or more potions than they're going to have to right uh, and then smackdown is just doing massive damage so uh there you have it that is the best defensive set and then next up you have iron tail and crunch uh, seems like a fairly good one because uh, you don't bite is just not that good when you're in a gym iron tail it's hitting pretty hard on a good amount of pokemon so your, your first bet is going to be smackdown and crunch when you drop it in a gym then iron tail and crunch and there you have it for tyranitar's moves um basic basic there okay uh things you need to know so what is it weak against it's weak against bug grass fairy ground steel two times to fighting and water it resists psychic poison ghost flying dark fire and normal type so quite a few resistances quite a few weaknesses and that double to fighting is just very bad um but that's tyranitar i mean it's still a good pokemon everything has its weaknesses sort of except for I was going to say Spirit Tomb. It's weak to Fairy. Um, that's going to be an interesting one. That's Gen 4. So there you have Tyranitar. So let's go ahead and jump into Golem. Okay, so here we are at Golem. At a max CP potential, 100% IV, 2,916. Attack, 211, rank 38. That's not bad, you know. Defense, 229, rank 22. That's pretty good. Actually, it means rank 22 so uh stamina 160 rank 28 all right so let's go ahead and take a look at its best offensive move sets uh let's go rock throw stone edge rock throw <laughs> rock blast mud slap earthquake uh rock throw ancient power mud slap earthquake rock throw earthquake and we don't need to read the rest because <laughs> as you can see it's just gonna teeter down pretty hard all right so as uh for defensive you're going to want Rock Throw, Rock Blast. I specifically changed one of my Stone Edges to Rock Blast so I could potentially drop it in a gym whenever I wanted to because I know when I put my Golem in a gym with Stone Edge, it, it's going to hit them eventually, you know, if they don't take it out quick. Because I was thinking, what could possibly take it out quick? Like, you have uh, Venusaur with uh, Plant Frenzy, uh, then you have Vaporeon with Aqua Tail. And you could use, I could say Kyogre, but it takes forever to get that Hydro Pump. By the time you get Hydro Pump, it's going to have Stone Edge. I'm just trying to think of Pokemon that could take it out potentially quick. Um, so there you have it. Uh, you don't want Stone Edge. Rock Blast. Ancient Power, if you have that, that is a legacy. Dang, I can't believe I switched that back in the day to do, it was like the Zapdos trio. Uh, I mean, it was good. I'm glad we did it, but ouch. Ancient Power, um, legacy move. So, best bet for dropping a gem, rock throw, rock blast, period, that's it, okay? Um, you know, maybe mud slap, you know, you know, mud slap might work, but you don't want earthquake and you don't want stone edge if you're dropping in a gym. 
Uh, so there is Golem's tax. You don't really need to know too much about that. I mean, you can, but it's Golem. Um, so what do we have for her weaknesses? Two times weak to grass, weak to ground, steel, two times to water, ice, and then fighting. So <laughs> it's two times weak to uh, grass and then water type. Not good because those are pretty available type Pokemon in the game. So what does it resist? Uh, electric, fire, normal, rock, flying, poison, and that's it. So, um, in the main series games, electric types simply did not hit ground types. That's not the case in Pokemon Go, because so many people would get walled when it came down to gyms. They'd be like, what is going on? Eventually they would learn, but this game is called Go for a reason. There's no, you want to keep going and going and going. That would make no sense. So, there you have it. <laughs> what do you, um, that's funny that I said that would make no sense. It really makes no sense for electric to hit ground. Um, but that's just Pokemon Go. Anyways, there you have it, trainers. I hope you like that breakdown and a little bit of explanation as to what's the difference between these two. Quite a big difference. Tyranitar is way better. <laughs>